Hi, it's Paul Slack. It's Good News Planet. Okay, I'm speaking with Sophia Dieck. Yes. Okay, and you are, we have three lovely women here, and your a sister? Melissa. Melissa. Alexandra. Okay, all right. Now, we're going to learn uh, about these young women who are uh, debutantes and have been past debutantes, and you're a new debutante this year. We're at the International uh, Debutante uh, uh, ball and uh, event here and we're in the Waldorf Astoria and I actually I videoed you last night so I can show some of you being in the receiving line. Oh really? Yeah well it wasn't only me you had some of the most famous <laughs> I will let you know uh, photographers and the videographers in the world. Uh, at that event uh, and so because this is a very, very special occasion, and it's special because of your opportunity for your experience and since you've all done it. Uh, I'm very impressed with it, actually. We've been in, involved with it in the past. And uh, it's special because you make new friends, and there are lovely families behind the new friends that you'll make, and uh, it's a great occasion. I mean, Waldorf story, I mean, all, all of it is good, and there's this big charity uh, part of it, too. So, Sophia, tell us how it went for you. It was great. It was such an amazing experience. Everyone was so sweet. Every, everyone's in the same boat, so we all socialize. Everyone's so easy to talk to. And just the whole process of the cocktail parties, the brunches, the ball itself, was just, it all went very smoothly. It was just a great experience. Now, since you're, I'm going to focus just a little bit on you first. Uh, and since your sister's did it in the past, right? Uh, why would you want to do it? You know, I watched them do it, and it, just, it was just something that I just saw myself doing. Because when she was doing it, she taught me the bow, and I was just so excited to do it. I was like, I was thinking, when I am older, this is this is just kind of my checkpoint. Not, old. not <laughs> when older. I'm old. a, little, a little bit. Uh, because yeah. when I, I watched her when I was 12, so at that point, it was kind of a checkpoint being being oh this, this is just a checkpoint and growing up and so it was just something that i always just saw myself doing uh -huh. so. and, you, and you have your family's support behind you too to do it i do i do which i'm very lucky for that uh -huh. you all are very lucky mm -hmm. uh, 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 maybe they can adopt me no <laughs> <laughs> that's very good i you spoke to my oh, you don't have a brother so now <laughs> yeah. is this the whole family mm -hmm. Yes. The, the, three, the immediate family, yes. The immediate family, okay. So that's, that's wonderful. So I'm wondering if anybody else is going to be coming uh, to become a debutante. So, well, I guess, whatever, who knows. So <laughs> in any case, um, what did you find that uh, you might not have thought, you know, I mean, in that your sisters went to it, was there anything that happened to you that, uh, you know, surprised you so far, besides maybe crazy me? <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely how... Just the people that I've met. I've met some really great people that I think I'm going to keep in contact with after this. And I wasn't really expecting that, and I'm really thankful for meeting them. Okay. Well, that, that's beautiful. So, so tell me a little more about your, your past experience. My, I was the first one to do it, so mine was um, eight years ago. It was a blast, though. I, really, I loved it. I still keep in contact with some of the people that I met, too. Um, just all the traditions behind it, and it doesn't change. This is my third time to come because I came when she did it too and nothing changes it's very cool to see aha uh -huh. okay and uh, and and yourself Alexandra I also had a great experience um, my escort and I have actually remained friends and we both live in New York now so we hang out all the time wow. and I would have never met him unless I did this so and he we had a ton of mutual friends and I mean I keep up with a lot of them too so I mean honestly no nothing bad to say it so would you great. recommend this to other uh, young ladies? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you meet so many great people. And it's also, you help with the armed forces and everything. And it's just a really great experience overall. So are you now in colleges? Or where, where, what, are you, what are you guys doing now? So I go to NYU, and I'm in the Tisch School. OK, film. and you're studying? Film. Film? Uh-oh. <laughs> my, my jobs. I need job security here. Now. <laughs> How about yourself? I work in Austin, Texas. Um, and I do online news media monitoring. So I work for a company called Meltwater. Jeez, these are very familiar uh, businesses, okay? <laughs> I live here and in you're New York. A, a host. <laughs> <laughs> I live here in New York, and um, I'm actually a fashion designer and style blogger. So I 
working from here. Style blogger, okay. Yes. So how do you like that style blogging? I love it, it's something new. I just started, say, all of it in February and when I moved here. Um, and I'm learning a lot as I go and I, it's a lot of fun. Well, talking about style because uh, uh, on that receiving line, uh, I don't know if that was the dress you wore all the evening, I imagine. I guess, I don't know, because I actually I, I couldn't stay for the, the, the actual ball portion. But that was gorgeous, what you were wearing. So, so for those who would wonder how and why that uh, gown, uh, why and how and how did that come and did everybody go to the same designer, uh, or I have no idea what, what happened. So there's a store that we, I, did we all go to it? Um, it's called Serendipity. Oh, okay. And oh, wow. um, we just, we go in there and our dresses have to be, have to have a poof at the bottom for our, for our bow specifically. So that's the main, that's, that's the requirement for the dress. But everything else, it's all of our separate tastes. So they're very personal to each and one of us. So did you, did you, uh, 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 so there was no hand-me-downs here in this situation no. here? <laughs> There's no hand-me-downs. Well, very different, too, like style-wise and height-wise and everything. So uh -huh. height-wise. Height-wise. Height-wise, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, um, was there, like, one designer that, uh, are we these, like, uh, are were they right there in the store that you could select one? There, there wasn't just one designer. There, there's multiple. Yeah. So... We all, we all have different dresses made uh -huh. by different people, so it was nice. So you felt good in yours? I did, I did. Standing for a long time, you, you, could, feel, you could start feeling where it was fitting, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I, but it was comfortable <laughs> afterwards, so. And how about your dress? What was it like? I loved my dress. It was the first one I tried on. Um, mine was, had, uh, it was very structured, strapless, uh, and then it had the, as she says, the poof. Um, but it had some really beautiful beading on, like, the corset part. Is that how you said? Yeah. And um, I watch wear flats. The bodice. So I love it. Yeah, bodice. But I loved the dress. Yeah, I love it. Uh-huh. And yourself? Mine was um, more of a kind of a sheen taffeta white, and it had, like, a bunch of ruched on the bodice and organza flowers. Not so much beading, but I liked it. It was... Uh -huh. Will you wear these dresses again? I mean, you... Well, we wore them, you, she'll, oh, wear she'll wear them a total again. of three times because we also participate in Debbie Tom Balls in Austin. Oh, great. So we wore ours a total of three times because um, we yeah. do two other balls. Yeah. Uh -huh. What are the balls in, in Austin? Um, one is called the Helping Hand Ball. Helping and Hand? Helping Hand. And that, that will that be in organization, March. Helping Hand? Is yes. that the organization? That is the organization. That's and they, a great idea. We've done or Helping this. Hand, not Helping, helping Hands. Hand. I think okay. that might be different. All right, okay. Is that it There's for children? Uh, that is, oh, okay. helping hands. Uh, oh, okay. But I don't That'd know if it's the same. I can't right. remember the, it's a Russian woman, I think, is, uh, but, uh, who oversees that organization. So you're a real charity kind of people, yeah. right? Yes. And so what's, what's the other ball for? It's called Bachelors, and that one comes in the next couple of years. Helping, I do the Helping Hand Ball in March. So it just so happened that International came before then. And in two years, I will be doing bachelor's. When you're 21. 21, so, so in a year yeah. and a half, two years. Uh huh. And the bachelor's is, uh, the, isn't a bachelor's a, a guy's name? <laughs> yeah, it is. They know more about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bachelor's one, that's, that's the one that you do when you're older. You're, if your father is a part of um, the it's bachelor's like organization. Oh, that's an organization? Mm hmm. Oh. In Austin, then, then you participate. How's Austin nowadays? Austin uh, city limits. Now, how's Austin? It's growing. so great. I mean, it's growing every single time I go back to visit from here. It's something's new, something's different. There's a new building, um, but it's just growing so quickly. I miss it. I love New York, but I miss it a lot. You have what, the I University of Texas there? Uh, mm -hmm. Right in the heart there? Somewhere? Yep. Downtown, we, that's where we, we both went there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my buddy of mine went there, and uh, he, he loved it. And, I, and we used to have our public television uh, um, uh, conferences in Austin. So oh, okay. I have one of my most memorable Halloweens on, was it 5th Street, 6th Street? 6th Street. 6th Street. 6th Street. Street. Great town. Yeah. Really good stuff. Yeah. All right, let me ask you one, uh, two last questions, all right? But thank you very much, and uh, your, your congratulations to all, all of you. And I know this is very exciting. So, so I'm going to start here. What, what's good news for you? Good uh, news. What's good news? In general. In general, any part of your life. Um, 
you know, having my little sister here, she just moved here uh, to New York. Oh. Um, I think that's the best news I've received in a very long time, you know, getting to spend this time in our lives together here in New York because we've always lived in Austin, um, I think is really great news. Yeah, that's special in yourself. I would say that good news to me would be when you hear about someone helping someone else or something good happening to someone that you really care about. So Sophia getting in, I mean, off that point, Sophia getting into the Tisch School, something that she was really looking forward to. That was her number one choice. It was a really big deal. We helped her. You know, I remember watching her music videos that she was making for her, for her, what's it called? For the the application. Ad- application. For the application. Um, so when, when anything, anytime anything good happens to someone that you love and care about and then... That's beautiful. And yourself? For me, it's when everything seems just to flow, na- just flow naturally, smoothly, and everyone's happy, and every- it's just, just everything gets, goes well together. It's just all the pieces of the puzzle fit, to- fit together, and that's having my family and friends here. Wow, so. you women are amazing. Okay, I'm going to one last question. We're very involved with World Peace, and they're throwing a party on the 21st of September. So what, was, what would be peace? What's peace for you? Um, I think when, I mean, for me, when I think of world peace, I want to literally go out and feed the world. If that, like, has nothing to really do with peace, but I feel like that would make everyone happy, you know, gone at everything. If I could, I would just go out and share everything I could, like, feed food-wise and also home and everything, and everyone would be happy. That's beautiful. Yeah, and to add to that, I would just say children. Yeah. I like helping children all over the world. For I agree with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's distinguishing between agreeing and accepting and just accepting each other for who we are. Okay. Like that answer. That, you guys are fantastic. Thank you very <laughs> much. So <laughs> I'm... Um, <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> All right. And for the, our, our uh, Latino uh, community, uh, Hispanic, uh, uh, I believe you all speak Spanish. Is that right? So let's say just what is, what is peace to you, or you can say exactly what you just said in, 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 Sp- in Spanish. Um, para ayudar todo el mundo, como uh, darles de comer, um, casas donde vivir, todo el mundo. Y yo diría que... No, so, no solo eso, pero también para los niños y que todos los niños estén en una familia o que, que les demos de comer o, o no más que estén, que estén bien y contentos, sí, claro. Para ser feliz necesitamos aceptar todas de que somos, entonces, sí, sí como somos, sí, como somos, gracias. Gracias, ok, thank you very much, that was wonderful, ok. Okay, and now girls, for the final photograph, I want to see a little it's excited. Not final? A little happy. It's a little excited. Come on, that was sweet. One more time. Yeah.